This is one of those movies where it was so rich that I was writing down so many of the things that I was feeling. Do you gravitate towards material that's kind of grounded like this and is so meaty, or do you ever feel like you'll go towards parts that maybe you know go into the fantasy world or something like uh, that? I'm very much open with the materials you know that I'll pursue as far as from a career standpoint. But I do like to read material like this, and if I'm lucky, I'd like to be exposed. You know to works like this, definitely. I think August Wilson has a very uh, particular type of writing mm -hmm. that I like and I enjoy. You know, he's very much in tune with his characters that he, create, that he creates. You know, you feel that, that he knows the people that he's writing about, that he's brought them from people that he's met in life. So, you know, I would hope to encounter other writers, you know, who, are, who, are, who, you know, who share his type, of, you know, his type of mindset and his style, for sure. Right, speaking of his type of writing, there's a there's a certain rhythm to it. Mm -hmm. I kind of compare it to something like Aaron Sorkin. Mm -hmm. It's very fast, and so how did you normalize that language? Just feel comfortable in it, you know. Just trust that you have to trust it. You know, trust the material that you're getting, and really just following the lead of my of my my castmates. You know, they mm -hmm. all of them are pretty, are very much familiar with August Wilson and his work, and they a lot of them have done his plays, multiple plays, and uh, you, know, you just trust that. You're in good hands with August, which I did, and which they all did, and you just ride the wave. I don't think it's something that you do uh, forcefully. You're not trying to make a rhythm in scenes. Mm -hmm. You're just staying true to the, to the characters and just trying to go through one another. And the music should be there if it's if it's written there. If it's on the page, it's on the stage, as I've heard Denzel say before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this particular story, I feel like it humanizes the struggle that we kind of all go through and inspires hope. Um, what kind of did it make you want to change as a person after reading it, doing it, and then now even seeing it? Uh, I'm not sure if it made me want to change who I am as a person, but it definitely, uh, definitely, definitely causes you to look at your own life, you know, and to have that that moment of, of uh, or moments of, uh, of reflection mm -hmm. and recollection of, of the events of your life. I think there's, that's something to be said about the timelessness of this film, and of the story. I mean, it is like you said something that every family can relate to in a sense, you know, there are elements to each of the characters that I'm sure people can relate to, for sure. Yeah, I think a lot of people can probably relate to uh, seeing people that have Troy's baggage mm -hmm. in this kind of film. Like, um, th there's the really great scene where he talks about how his father, it, kind of comparing, comparing him to like a devil, and then saying, there's that line about uh, two chickens and he gave me the wing, mm -hmm. and then he, in the end, he kind of, becomes his father in a way and if you could see Corey's character as a father what kind of qualities do you think he would inherit from Troy? I think um, just his, his strong will you know his his personality uh, you know his his larger than life essence you know perhaps his charm is something that I think he has just you know in nature and I think that's why Rose makes the comments that she does for sake of not ruining the film yeah. um, but you know, he. I think it's very possible that he could have developed some of that resentment because he lost out on his opportunity just as his father had lost out on his own. But I think the one thing that saves him is, you know, him coming, coming back home later on in the in the uh, in the story and and listening to what his mother tells him. And, you know, that I think him coming back was very important to the uh, to the beginning of change in his mindset and his thinking about his about his father and how he was raising him. Right. What kind of qualities do you think you inherited from your parents? From my parents? Uh, I actually let them do it out because, you know, both my parents seem to think I share their looks, you know, like <laughs> my mom says, oh, he gets his good looks from me, and my dad's like, he gets it from me, so. But uh, I think my dad's, you know, he has a, a, a temper, so I, I think I, I have a little bit of an attitude sometimes. I try to try to keep keep reins on that, but right. they're both incredibly intelligent, and, you know, my parents, they're, they're both awesome, so for the sake of not tooting my own horn, I'm just, yeah. you know. Take a little bit from both parents. <laughs> All right. Well, we're out of time. Thank you so much. Thank for your you. Time. I appreciate it.